Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson before here using the PW so I can train with it and get ready for the freaking tournament that's going to be happening on Saturday, which is the South Texas Gaming Expo. I already announced it earlier today, guys, earlier this morning or yesterday. You know, you guys missed out on it. Make sure you go back into my videos and uh, click on the one that says South Texas Gaming and Collectors Expo and see the information that's going to be there because it's going to be a $500 tournament for both Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Go. So that's why you see some Black Ops 2 gameplay. It's not because, oh, Joe misses Black Ops 2. No, I don't miss this game at all. <laughs> but there's going to be a tournament on it, so might as well prepare on it, right? I'm not going to skip on it because this is one of the first tournaments that's going to be happening at that expo. So, yeah, I want to shine big, and this is what I'm going to do, guys. Um, right now, I'm just going to be training today and tomorrow. Or tomorrow morning because tomorrow is already Saturday. So, uh, so yeah, with the, my top three choices so far have been the PDW, the MP7, and the Scorpion Evil. My number one choice is the MP7. Why? Because I already told you so many times, guys. Have you seen? If you guys have seen some of my gameplays back in Black Ops 2, I always said this. It's a great all-around weapon from long range, medium range, short range. Apparently, the MP7 is an all-around weapon. The Scorpion Evil is an excellent gun for short range. And I could I can challenge quick scopers also. They can rarely, you know, take me out. And uh, the Scorpion Evil just really works from short range. The PDW has a problem though. Apparently you can go bipolar from short range. And it's mostly like a more of a spray and prey gun. It is. I mean it holds 50 bullets per mag. That's a lot for a freaking SMG. <laughs> so uh, it mostly it can react like an assault rifle. So um I tested out this gun right in this gameplay and some other gameplays out there and what I noticed is that this gun is pretty much great for medium range. From short range it's just bipolar like I said. That's why I'm still worried about this because I know at the game next well they're going to set some rules saying that you know um, you guys got to play in Nuketown. So the question is will the PDW be a great selection for Nuketown? What do you guys think? Since y'all love Nuketown, I really do not like that map, but I guess, <laughs> you know, so is the PW a great selection? I mean, I know most of you guys like the PW. Most of you guys still consider it as one of the best SMGs out there, which I do not really think it deserves to be one of the best SMGs. I think the Scorpion Evil and the MP7 pretty much sets it up. So, um, so yeah, I mean, my opinion, I think it's still my number three option, though. I think it's still my number three. And look at this. Yes, it does take out quick scopers. Yes, it does survive against them. It does challenge them into, you know, dropping down like that and uh, making me, you know, move around like that, like all crazy. And I still managed to take him down. But still, I don't know. This is a big question, man. And also a little bit of more information about this game in Expo. For sure, it's going to have, you know, the elite MLG tournament rules, which is you cannot use lethal or tactical or kill streaks for sure. And the radar will always be on. For sure, those are going to be the tournament rules. So, uh, yeah, that's why I have high kill streaks. That's why you see me in the, if you guys see on the right bottom side of your screen, I have, uh, you know, all the high kill streaks. And I don't have any lethal or tactical. That's why you see me with an extra perk and with a backup weapon. For sure, they're going to make us choose a backup weapon. I don't know. You guys have, if one of you guys watching this, uh, if you guys have, you know, been in a tournament, let me know some of the tournament rules that you have. I mean, it's probably different from what we're having, but still, I would like to know so I can be ready for it. If we're allowed to use lethal and tactical, then that's going to be pretty much bullshit because then it's going to be annoying facing the freaking MP, uh, e EMP, you know, grenades and the freaking claymores, bouncing betties. I mean, all them crap is going to be annoying, but still, I'm ready for it because I know I set up every single one of these guns in Black Ops 2 last year for a 1v1 situation. So that's my strongest point here on Black Ops 2. And um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm kind of ready, though. I am kind of ready. It's just that my weapon selection right now is just kind of a... Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's still a 50-50 thing because I'm, I'm still not sure if I should go with my, in my first match so I won't be eliminated with a Scorpion Evil, with the MP7, or with a PW. I mean, I really do not want to be eliminated I'm on, on the first round that I'm a strong, a, a really strong, you know, gamer, you know, on. I'm, I'm pretty strong in Madden. That's why I'm not worried about being eliminated in the first round because I know I can lose in the first round by mistakes. But this one is just pretty much of a heads-up thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I do this on YouTube and losing the first round is pretty, will be pretty much embarrassing. So, uh, so yeah, wish me luck, guys. So, this is the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the gameplay with the PW. And also, to add Frost into the cake, I ended up quick scoping for the final kill in this match because they were pretty much far away from me. 
Yep, bam. You see, quick scoping doesn't deserve. You don't need. You don't need any kind of skill to quick scope in Black Ops Two. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day. And make sure you leave me your opinions on which guns should I use, guys. <laughs>